Hey, wonderful people, a pleasant afternoon to you. If you have not yet surrendered your hearts, your minds, your souls completely and your strength to Jesus Christ, please feel free to do so. He's the best being ever. Certainly, that would be the best decision you would ever make. Um. So yesterday, beauties, my wonderful people, I was on a live and uh, the topic basically surrounded, I put it to you, black is not beautiful i found it to be an interesting topic and i knew where it was going um it it wasn't as it seemed you know um and we're talking about the very dark you know the host was talking about what jamaicans and i'm using it no disrespect to anybody but just for you to understand you know the people who are what pe jamaicans would say black like last night black like midnight black like tar next to the equator next to the sun you wonder if they're they have landed in Mercury or Mercury is their home. You know, they paint the black on them. That's, as one woman says, that they paint pierce on the black pan. The man, this is a black woman, dark-skinned woman, saying this about another black person. And I said to myself, you know, over the years, when we hear the word black, we associate it with, with darkness. You know, the enemy has found a way to um, look at the wrong hypothesis. We look at black versus white. Um, as opposed to light versus darkness, you know. Um, I remember somebody was sharing with me of a, a teacher because she was on the very dark skin side. When she would go to the class, the teacher, the students would say, darkness I come, darkness I come, turn on the light. And when she came, they turned on the light. I heard a lady, a black woman, cursing another black girl because she's very dark. She has a darker shade that she's cursed with blackness. So we understand the, the systemic nature of colorism not just racism that we get from the white supremacist unfortunately it trickles down in the form of colorism prejudice biases discrimination they're all different you know as it relates to our very dark black brother or very dark black sister you know and our, there was a gentleman who came on the live to say that we're really not black because it, what he knows for example if you look at the color right here on my hat I think I had only seen somebody wear right here when you're looking at my hat, that color is black. And no matter how dark somebody is, what we know as black, if you were to get a black pen, a black ink, you don't see somebody as dark as a black ink or charcoal or whatever it is. You know, um, it's really brown skin. You have dark brown, uh, light brown and so on and fair skinned. And, you know, we categorize uh, the color under the black race. But I want to put it to you. And he's, you know, that, you know, and because of that, he says, in the minds of many, then, therefore, black is not beautiful, you know. Um, I remember years ago, you know, a very talented and gifted um, dance hall artist had, had sung the song, uh, you know, DJ the song, me love me care, me love me back, me love my money and thing, but most of all, me love me browning. Pamela and dance who's it and I didn't wonder what the whole vibe of them thinking. And you remember, he went on and then he came. When the outcry came, he sung the song. May not stop cry for all black woman. Respect to a the girl them with dark complexion. May not stop cry for all black woman. Da, 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 da. Black is beauty, who no color is one in a million. Take it, take it, take care of your foundation. And you know how the song goes. I haven't sung it in a long time, so I don't remember the exact lyrics of it. But I want to put it to you, my beautiful people, in the minds of many, black is not beautiful. When you think about it, you know, a gentleman had asked some ladies some a year or so ago, if you had the opportunity and it was okay to go two shades darker, two shades lighter, what would you have done? And you know what the answer was? Some didn't want to answer. And some answers answered and said two shades lighter. They wouldn't go darker because of the vitriol that surrounds when you're very dark. Um, there is this connotation that once you say you're black, it is followed up with you're black, fat, and ugly. Or you're big, fat, black, and ugly. Ugly and black seem to be correlated in the minds of many. Uh, what is the other thing? You're big, flat, black, and sweaty, and sweaty. You're black and shine. You look horrible, and so on. But I want to put it to you in the minds of many that unfortunately black is not beautiful and we're talking about the very dark but i want to read something to you please listen carefully to the very dark to the very dark skinned so very dark skin offers several physical benefits particularly related to protection from the sun and environmental factors 
Some of these include one, increased UV protection. So, you know, you probably don't have to put it on as the lighter skin people. Darker skin has higher levels of melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color. Melanin provides a natural barrier against the ultraviolet, the UV radiation from the sun. This reduces the risk of sunburn and lowers the chances of developing skin cancer compared to lighter skin. Two, slower aging process. And I believe that I've seen it. Melanin also helps protect the skin from the damaging effects of UV rays, which can cause premature aging. As a result, people with darker skin, the black, what we call PSR black, tend to show fewer signs of aging. That is true, such as wrinkles and fine lines compared to those with lighter skin. Three, lower risk of vitamin D degradation. Although darker skin can produce less vitamin D from sunlight, it also means that vitamin D is less likely to degrade quickly in the body. This can be benef beneficial in environments where sunlight is abundant year-round. Protection against photo damage. Darker skin is less prone to photo damage, such as hyperpigmentation and sunspots, because higher melanin content act, acts as a protective filter against the sun's harmful rays. And the last one, resilience to environmental stressors. Darker skin may be more resilient to certain environmental stressors, such as pollution and free radicals due to the protective effects of melanin. So these benefits highlight the evolutionary advantages of darker skin in certain environments, particularly in regions with high levels of sunlight, especially here where we predominantly have dark skinned people. You know, we have a, 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 a multifaceted or array, a wide array of skin color as it relates to the black race and the black community. Listen to me, beautiful people. There is systemic colorism, biases, discrimination and prejudice among our own black people because of what slavery has brought on the land. It is going to take years for it to be almost eradicated. But what I want to encourage us is to appreciate our blackness. I want you to listen again to what I promulgated that I researched about when you're, the darker your skin is, it's almost like you're harder to age, harder to get skin cancer, harder to get photo damage, the skin being damaged. I want to put it to you that black is not only beautiful, but it is gorgeous. It is amazing. And as a man says, is that really black? You know, but we have to define, we have to have conversations. So we define, uh, we have to find a way of defining the different ethnic groups, the ethnicity. You know, just as so, for example, you know, you wouldn't say, I mean, white people are not white in accordance when you look at a, a milk, when you're looking at liquid milk itself or a white chalk, you know, you do have some people that look as if they're close to it, but they're not that color. So it's not really what they, the color white is. You know, you would really call them light skinned, you know, and dark skinned as opposed to black versus white. And that is what the enemy has done to create this sort of superiority complex in some and inferiority complex in another you know, superiority complex in one, inferiority complex in another. You're not defined by what somebody says. So when I tell you that you're black and so forth, thank you. Thank you. My skin will look much better than yours. The older I get, I'm going to be hard. It's going to be very hard for you to, to distinguish what my age is. You know, I'm not prone to skin cancer. I'm not prone to the, the damage of the skin or looking wrinkled and shriveled and looking horrible, you know. And my color is just amazing when I look at myself. As one woman in the chat had said, she said when people told her all men of evil from she was young about her skin because she's very dark. She said, I didn't see what they saw. I didn't see what they saw. You know, she actually honed her blackness and owned it. She was proud of her blackness. Now we're all black people, whether you're light skinned, in between, very dark, black, peach, whatever you want to call it. We need to learn to appreciate our skin color and our race. We're not inferior to anybody. I don't care. We can emancipate ourselves from that. We need to just support each other as black people and get out of the jealousies and the envies that was created through slavery. But the choice is yours. I can't do it for you. You can't do it for me. You have to do it for yourself.
All right, my wonderful people, my beautiful and black people. Guys, you know what to do. Read TikTok and YouTube. Have a good